Oh, yes, let's get the other one in. <laughs> Good morning my lovely subscribers you join me on a very cold and horrible Sunday but we're finally doing another modification to the EP3 now it's been a while since I've actually done anything modification wise to this car but today that's changing we're going to Huddersfield now I'm not going to tell you what we're going for uh, one because it's that time of year where everything's a surprise and two because I'm a bit of a bastard so we are heading to Huddersfield, which is only about an hour away. We're going to see a company called ID Works. Now, a few of you the other day would have seen me put a post up on Instagram about something very in particular. Like I said, I'm not going to say anything yet. Um, and he actually reached out to me and said, look, I'll, I'll, I'll swap your mine if you, if you give yours a clean. And yeah, so we're swapping. Whatever it, whatever it is, like I said, I'm not going to say, we're swapping. Uh, with the guy that owns ID Works. I'm not sure of his name, we're going to meet him in a bit. Yeah, it was under one condition that I gave mine uh, a little clean, so I made sure I got that done Friday at work. So we've got that crossed off. Before we get on the way, we're heading to pick up Mr. Lockwood. And why do people do that? Literally pull up to a junction and leave the bonnet like halfway across the road. Yeah, we're heading down to pick up Mr. Lockwood. Haven't actually. Uh, he hasn't actually been in a video for a while and uh, I haven't actually been in one of his. We've both been very busy, I've been busy with work, he's been busy with his true rally and uh, and doing his stuff so we haven't really had time to film so we're going to go pick up Mr Lockwood and I'll, uh, I'll pick the video up when we get there. Mr. Lockwood. What? Oh, look at this. Show me some skin. Is he looking? <laughs> right, we are all fueled up. Um, and I'm hoping. I'm almost fueled up. Yeah, you're you're now nearly fueled up. I'm hoping. I just I just ragged the car then when the petrol light was and on. And it blew up. And it kind of like caught at 7,000. So I'm going to blast it, and hopefully it doesn't do that again. Um, I know I was really really low on petrol, but let's just hope that wasn't the case. No, let's let's hope that was the case. Yeah, let's hope we've not got a fucked K20. Yeah. It's not been embarrassing for you, would not it? It would be very embarrassing. Going on about how bulletproof they are. Yeah. <laughs> for a white glanzer and a pub and then we're going to see a load of EP3s apparently that's the directions we've got so once we get out of this junction which doesn't look like it's going to be any time yeah. soon right pub oh, glanzer. white glanzer and a pub white there glanzer and a pub okay right so there's the white glanzer so, oh EP3s oh EP twiddles here we are we're home oh, oh another glanzer oh my god what's that white thing over there is that another another glanzer that's another glanzer is it with the NKRPF Uns. Uns. <laughs> I think uh, I think she's found a home. This one's turboed. Um, we've got some sick glands. I'd love a glanzer, me. I think they're really cool. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Uh, got a glanzer. Got a few more EP3s over here. We'll check them out. Another glanzer there. That one's awesome, man. I really like them with the RPF ones. A couple more EP3s and a couple more EP3s, but he's going to go get the keys for the black one and show us the uh, the setup under the bonnet. Something about a, cur tur a turboed K20. Turboed. <laughs> a turboed K20. Quite a bit dirty now. What's it running? Do you know? 440. Sick. 
Quite like purple. Standard engine. Standard block, yeah. I'm mad. <laughs> it's stupid what they can take, isn't it? So what we've come here for is actually come out of this car. Not given any clues, but you've probably realised by the title and thumbnail. So that's pretty yeah, pointless. There's definitely definitely not seats. Yeah, there's no seats in it. <laughs> so yeah, we are we are picking up some seats from this legend. <laughs> nice one, man. Um, two Corbu. How do you say it? Corbu, Corbo. I'm not even going to say it. Corbu. <laughs> Right, Corbo seats for the EP3. This guy's an absolute legend, he's letting us swap. Um, and we're going to be picking up some harnesses as well. So we're going to be driving home in bucket seats, which I'm uh, looking forward to. Not sure how it's going to be for a daily car, but hopefully next year we might be able to sort a, uh, another car out when my insurance renews. Uh, big, big thank you to Greenlight for that. But yeah, this obviously is a turboed EP3. The seats were in this car and uh, they're going to be going in that one. Let's have a look at the seats. Oh, they're really nice, man. They're sick. <laughs> yeah, I like them. You've got your M2 Motorsport seat nails on as well. Oh, awesome. Hey, <laughs> they're really nice. They're shocking. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, shit. They're really light, aren't they? <laughs> right, give it a cheeky rev. <laughs> yeah. Everyone get the cameras out, man. Get the cameras out, turbo <laughs> civic. <laughs> Out with the old and uh, in with the new. I think it's pretty simple to take these out, literally just a couple of bolts down there uh, and they come out. Well, I thought I'd uh, figure the right side out and then go on to the left side, but it's really, really simple. Take that plastic uh, little door thing off, then you've got your bolt there, same with that side, and then at the front, they're just under there, really, really simple. So uh, he's gonna send me out the harnesses, so what we're gonna do for now just so I've got some seat belts. I'm gonna put the buckle, the seat belt buckles on the new seats yeah. so I can just put the original seat belts in, but how light are they, Lee? Yeah. <laughs> right, so yeah, until I, uh, until I get some harnesses, he says he's not got them in stock at the minute, but he'll send them straight out to me. Um, we've got the buckles on, so yeah, we'll just swap them over. Really simple, this. Obviously, these are made for the EP3s, so uh, you just screw them back in. So I'm gonna get it in now and, uh, and see what it's like. These are actually, uh, obviously, Corbu seats on M2 Motorsport rails, so pretty top notch. Big, big thank you to ID Works for sorting this out for me. Like, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to seeing how these look and perform. Like I said as well, I'm gonna be trying to do a lot more track days next year, so these are gonna be uh, a big help for them. And they're so, so, so light. It's like, I could probably lift it up with two fingers. Like easy, <laughs> they're really light. So yeah, let's uh, let's get them in. Obviously, just use the same bolts as you uh, took the ones out and bolt them back down. These are sick, man. <laughs> the seating position is so much more lower. Like I feel like I'm fully in the car now. It's really comfortable as well. I thought they'd be like a bit too much, but I think I'm going to get on just fine with these. Oh yes, let's get the other one in. <laughs> and as per usual, when Jesse works on a car, nothing straightforward. When I took the uh, the screw, the bolt that bolts the seat down out of the hole, there must have been a little screw somewhere that's fallen into the gap. So we're currently trying to get that little Fucking bugger bastard. out of the hole. <laughs> I think that the only other option is maybe get a hoover to try and vacuum it out or something, but what are the chances of that? Yeah, so that little screw's uh, become a little bit more awkward than we thought. We've just put three in for now going to drive home if push comes to shove and we can't get it out with a bit of a stronger magnet we're just going to get like some uh, soldering uh, wire and try and pull it out or weld it or something like that and, and get it out that way but very very happy with them they look uh, awesome do you know back up? No gap there. they look wicked <laughs> let's drive home see what they're like Seats are finished. I'm gonna just uh, take you for a little tour of the warehouse here at ID Works. Uh, if you do need any parts, I'll put all the uh, links in the description. This is their warehouse. Um, obviously, they, you're getting bigger, aren't you? Yeah, so. this is one of three stock rooms. I've never got two stock rooms in construction yet. Right, one of three. See, as you can see, it's a lot of construction work. Yeah, because yeah, obviously, uh, they're getting all the construction work done. So they are like branching out. It's all being done at the minute. But yeah, you've got literally all your oils, all your servicing parts, 
Uh, is that gearbox oil? Yeah. Gearbox oil, literally Evo 10 gaskets, anything. Literally they've got everything that you'd, that, that you'd ever need. Filters, um, pipes, bits and bobs, bits and bobs <laughs> everything you need. So yeah, check the uh, Powerflex bushes. Yeah, I'll get my stupid fucking twin plate off the Evo. <laughs> So yeah, just uh, check the link in the description if you need anything. It's obviously popular with EP3s. Yeah, I've got that's one yeah, running. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so make sure you go down below and check it out. Okay. Look at them bad boys! <laughs> yeah, just going to get a couple of pictures for uh, for the Instagram, but oh man, they look so sick. First pump for the channel, appreciate it man. Thank you very no much, problem, honestly. Very, very happy. No, 100%, definitely. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to drive home and give you my review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very happy though, man. Thank you very much. No really appreciate it. Let's uh, let's drive home. I feel like I'm in a complete different car, don't you? How low it is. Like, it does it does feel a lot better though, and they are quite comfy. I thought they'd be you moving around a bit there, so a little bit. Right, no. <laughs> I thought they'd be um, a lot more like hugging and make you feel like oh dear. Yeah, I thought that I thought they'd be very like tight and hugging, like you were actually in a full-on track car and not very dailyable. But I think I'd be all right in these. Yeah. We'll see when we get home. Anyway, we've got about a forty-minute drive. That glands is sick. Um, about a forty-minute wow. drive home. So, see how I get along so far. So good. How long was the drive? About probably an hour. Yeah, uh, it, too long with this fucking noise. Oh, this exhaust needs to go soon because it's so droney. Like, <laughs> I'll pull away in a minute and you'll see. Imagine driving this every day. Like this exhaust yeah, exhaust right. needs to go, but yeah, about an hour drive. I'm I'm kind of more comfortable than the other seat, me. Yeah, it's comfortable. I'm happy to do another hour if you're up for it. <laughs> Get that exhaust off and we'll talk. <laughs> but no, I'm 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 really comfortable. I, I thought they would, like I said, I thought they were going to be a lot more uncomfortable, a lot more bucket-ish. But no, I'm pretty happy with them. We're just going to dip to Lee's now and see if we can quickly get that screw out. Um, if I've got a magnetic yeah, tool. Yeah, if he's got a magnetic tool. If not... Uh, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, it's not the end of the world. We'll get it sorted, but yeah, let's head to Lee's. Yeah, literally, I'm in fifth. That's it's like on the motorway. It's louder than that. Motorway. Yeah, I'm not even putting my foot down. On the motorway, it's like really like that. It's so droney, yeah, it's got to go, man. Don't get me wrong, the skunk too, like, it sounds nice, full chat, but driving it it's every so day, it's just, plus, I don't think I get on track with it either, so that's going out the window. Oh, so we finally got that screw out, literally just kept on threading it and it just dropped through, so uh, that sort of, this seat is finally bolted in, this seat's bolted in. Yeah, so literally been driving around all day, comfy. I think they're even more comfy than the uh, than the Recaros that were in here before. So yeah, I'm really happy with them. Big, big thank you to ID Works. Please go drop him a follow, show some support. Any bits you need, make sure you're uh, you're asking him about it. And uh, yeah, I'm probably going to do a video, like a, um, a, a, a driving video. Just go out, take the EP3 for a drive and just talk some shit, really. Um, a few of the YouTubers have been doing that recently and I don't know, it just seems like a good idea. But anyway, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.